welcome once more to my channel and today we shall be looking at how to file tax returns for TSE staff now a few things to be armed with on the screen there you can see we have uh, the the browser which in our case is Google Chrome preferably then down here we have our P9 form now if you have these two then you are good to go and just to mention that it is not uh, about the cash one is that you save yourself a few shillings of your cash by filing your own tax returns and then most importantly you avoid displaying too much of your data to the world there so you'll just require what i've shown there plus a uh, internet and not too much of it it's just a few bundles because most of the work is done offline so to start with of course you are armed with your p9 form that one i don't need to uh, explain how you are going to do it download it from tpay then come here and log in to itax now when you go to your itax portal now on the itax portal uh, once it opens just give it some time it is here select this uh, the itax portal there so let us give it some times to open i think my my wi-fi is a little bit low so we have the itax page there so what you are required to do is just enter your pin mine is pre entered there so then you continue you continue by putting in your password there then from there you are expected to put in to do the, the security stamp there is simple arithmetic that should give us a 112 and then we log in to the right tax page sorry about that i think we put in i think i put in the law the wrong uh, computation for the arithmetic uh, stamp so we wait for it to load now that is the itax page there so what you go is go to e return at the bottom here you can see e return so you open the e return the e return will bring you here the type is self then the tax pin your pin of course then here you input income tax residential or resident individual and continue to next So once you are here, it gives a lot of information. But what you're interested in here is to download the, the tax uh, form that we shall be filling. So you download the one that is the Excel one here. You can see we have uh, Excel here and you also have ODS. So click here to download the iTax residential individual or resident individual form in Excel form. So you click there. Now you can see the form is downloading here once it is we are through with the downloading of the form we shall open the form and then continue so you can see the download is complete it comes in a, a zip form then you can open the file it will open the excel form just give it a, a little time so that is what it gives you you cancel that this is your form so double click on that form to open it and give it some time to open so once the form is downloaded it will give you some information that it is in protected view so you just need to click on enable editing so that it will enable you to fill information then it will tell you that uh, macros have been disabled so you enable macros it will not work when the macros are not enabled so you enable that now from here 
uh, you'll only need uh, to again you will need your internet when it comes to filling in or to uploading the form otherwise from here if you are working with limited data you are working offline so you can even put off your data at that point now it gives you a warning there that don't try to copy paste so don't right click at all it does not accept anything of that sort the form that is so you'll come to at the bottom here you can see basic information that is a uh, a section a that is a uh, basic information so here you are going to fill your pin if you fill the wrong pin it does not accept so i'll fill mine then you'll come to the return period sorry they are saying oh yeah you see if you put in the wrong pin it will not accept so you come to the return period the return period is the last year so here we'll be working with 1st of january 2022 to okay sorry the type of return is original sorry about that then you are working with the first of january 2022 to 31st of december 2022 if that is the year that you are filing now for teachers who are not examiners or you do not have uh, any other form of uh, taxable income for instance if you don't have a commercial vehicle a matatu or per se then here you just select no you do not have any other source of income so there you are going to select no so when you select no here you go straight to f you don't need the other information if you don't have uh, any other source of income the other one is uh, not relevant here so you go directly to f in f you are supposed to fill in um, uh, it's uh, called the details of employment income for self and wife i don't we are not feeling for the wife here so the first thing is uh, the pin of the employer the pin of the employer is p051 098 084 n again if you input the wrong uh, pin there it will it will definitely reject the pin then the name of the employer of definitely is TSC. The gross pay here is what you are going to get from your PIN. The PIN is here. The gross pay is the subtotals. You can see uh, the subtotals here. You can see it here at the bottom here. Plus the arrears. If you have any other uh, any arrears, you can see the arrears. For me, it is zero. So we are going to input the what we have here. So that is what we have. Allowances and benefits from employment other than uh, car and housing. For most of us, it is zero. For others, you may have a. Uh, what we call hardship allowance you, that's what you are feeling there in my case here you are putting zero there then the net value of what there is zero the pension in excess of 300,000 is zero and so you are through with that uh, section there if you are feeling for your wife you can feel below there but uh, you said we will not necessarily do that so that section is filled that section we will move to m m you are going to be feeding the details of the uh, the nini that has been deducted the details of the pay deducted the pin for the employer remains p051 uh, 098 084 n the employer you have seen is tsc now the taxable salary is the subtotals plus arrears you are getting them from this one the p9 form the subtotals are here at the bottom here you can see the same one we filled there the arrears are zero so that's what you'll be filling
Now for the tax payable on taxable salary, the tax payable on taxable salary is the pay auto plus relief. Now the pay auto is what you can see here as 169.1. Then the relief is what we are calling here the MPR value. So we are taking 169.1, we are adding to 28,800. Now the decimals, uh, you can ignore them because sometimes they bring us a problem on the other side when it comes to computation. So when you add the two of those, they give us 197.911. Then the amount of tax deducted, that is a uh, pay auto. So we are just going to take the same pay auto here. That is 169.1. Now, that amount, the amount of tax payable on or refundable pay should give us the same value as the MPR value that is in our uh, form. And that is what you can see here. So up to there, you can tell that you are on the right track. Then, with that, then you can move comfortably to the last stage that is a uh, tax computation that is uh, section T. On section T you have uh, very few details to enter. There you have the defined pension that is a uh, section or serial number 11.1. .1. So that one you are going to be inputting the, uh, the I mean the pension amount that is there. You can see the pension it's adding up to 12.946. So you just add that 12 946 then move down to uh, a tax on uh, no you'll move to 12.6 yes that is a personal tax relief personal tax relief is here as MPR is 28800 so you input that 28800 and then you will be moving down to 13.4 13.4 is uh, so at 13.4 that is with holding tax now with the holding tax now now that this video is specifically done for anybody who doesn't have an extra income remember at the beginning in a we said we don't have another source of income even you can see uh, that from um, so when it comes to here, then again, that means we are going to be inputting zero in withholding tax. Now 13.5 is where we have advance uh, tax on commercial vehicle. Again, if you don't have a matatu on the road where you pay 10,800 for 1080, 10,080 for ad as advance tax, then again, we input zero there. Then at the end there, you can see the computation clearly comes to zero. That is what we are looking at. Uh, we are looking for. So after it comes to zero, then you are left with nothing else than to validate. So when you validate, it's going to do the validation. So once the validation is over, then you can see it will tell you that sheets are ready to be uploaded. Do you want to generate an upload file? Then you click yes. Then it is going now to save the file. You can see where the file has been saved uh, in your computer in uh, disk D, I mean disk C in document. So when you go there, you are going to be finding the document there. And you are left with only one step now. You can close that document. Now you go back to your uh, Kenya Revenue. You Again, you log in. How much is that? Is, uh, 70 what you can compute so that will give us 79 we input 79 wait for it to open then once it opens we'll now go to it'll be going to <coughs> the e return there then on the e return you are going to be looking at uh, we just input here income tax resident then we move to next then you'll come down here 
you are going to be the type of return is original then from that date to that date then you are definitely just going to choose your file from uh, where it was saved automatically so in uh, documents you will find the form here that has been saved you can see it here third of uh, uh, March 2023 so you just select the file and then you are going to upload it I will not do that because mine I used a hypothetical the Nino uh, P9 so I will not upload it but you just select on it and then upload and then you'll come here and tick on this box that you accept the terms and conditions and you are through with that you just submit click submit and you will have finished the process the only thing that will be remain after you have uh, submitted then it will prompt you to download your uh, certificate i mean the 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 successful i mean the e-return acknowledgement receipt you will download it some will tell you that you 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 should print it i'll say otherwise don't print printing uses paper and i'm an environmentalist so print less use less paper so the only thing that you are remaining with after that is to download it and save it otherwise they say they are saying that uh, why because again uh, kra will send it electronically to your email so normally i ask why why uh, i mean there's a quote that i like that says uh, that printing it beats the logic of transmitting it electronically so the only thing that you are left with here is to subscribe to my page like and share the video and then the 150 or 200 shillings that you have saved uh, that i have saved you uh, run to the closest uh, favorite joint and take some uh, small meat and some soda and enjoy and wait for next year same place thank you very much for following up on my video and bye